You've probably seen those 3D YouTube shorts, the kind that feel like mini-movies with cinematic lighting, dramatic pacing, and stories that pull you in instantly. Most of them? They come from one creator, Zach D. Films, the guy dominating the YouTube short scene with billions of views every month. His videos blend perfect storytelling and stunning visuals, and it got me thinking, can we recreate that style entirely with AI? In this video, I'll show you how to make Zach D. Film style animations using free AI tools, from script to visuals, voiceover, and final edit. No 3D skills or big team needed. Let's dive in. Zach D's shorts aren't random. They're tightly scripted and structured. You could try scripting from scratch using AI, but that often doesn't work well for engagement. Instead, we'll take a proven Zach D Films video transcript and turn it into a video. First, go to the channel and pick a video that has high views or one you personally like. For this tutorial, I'm choosing a short rather than a long form video. Once you've chosen your video, click share and copy the video link. Then, search YouTube Transcript on Google and open any website you like. Paste the link there, and within a few seconds, your transcript will be ready. Just copy it from the page. Next, use this custom GPT. This GPT is specifically designed for Zach D. Film style idea and script generation. You'll find the link in the description. So, paste the transcript you just copied. I'll remove extra lines attached by the tool from where I copied it, but it's okay if timestamps remain. They won't affect the final script or ideas. This GPT will then provide a structural breakdown of the transcript and also ask to generate five new story ideas based on it. In response, I said, yes, go on. Then it asks which category I'd like to choose. But for this tutorial, I'll tell it to provide anything that's easy for an image to video model to animate. Within moments, we get five fantastic ideas. If you don't like any, just regenerate the response. Here, I'll pick number four because it's simpler to create in my opinion. After selecting, the GPT generates the full script. And just like that, step one is done. Now we can move on to the next step, generating visuals. To generate high quality images, I'm using Google Whisk. It's completely free and unlimited. To make the process even easier, I'm using another GPT that automatically converts your script into highly detailed visual prompts. So visit this from the link in the description. Paste your script and hit enter. It'll instantly generate a visual prompt. In my case, it only created a prompt for the first scene. If the same happens with you, just ask it to generate prompts for each scene. That way, you'll have a full set to work with. Once you've got your prompts, open Google Whisk using the link in the description. Now paste the first prompt here. After a few seconds, your images will be ready. You can then download your generated images with this button. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll skip this part. The process is exactly the same for the West. Just repeat it until you've created images for every scene. When you've got everything ready, let's move to the next step, animating the images. Now it's time to bring our images to life using Kling AI. The link is in the description. Once you're on the site, switch to image to video mode and select the Kling 2.1 model from the drop-down menu. Upload your first image as the start frame, then upload the last frame image of the same scene right here. Next, you'll need an animation prompt. You can either write it manually or use the DeepSeek feature. It automatically generates prompts based on the images you've uploaded. If you're writing it yourself, remember to describe the action and camera movement clearly for the best results. Then set your clip duration. I'll go with five seconds for this one. Generation time in the free tier depends on their server load, so you might need a bit of patience. Once your clip is ready, download it, either with audio or without. Don't worry about the watermark. We'll remove that later during the editing stage. If you'd like to generate multiple clips simultaneously, you can open two or three browsers with different Kling accounts. I use multiple Outlook accounts for this, which lets me render clips in parallel and save time. Now that all our clips are ready, let's move on to the next step, voiceover generation. For the voiceover, I'll be using Google AI Studio. It's completely free, unlimited, and sounds impressively natural. Once you're on the website, switch to single speaker mode. Then, paste your script in the text box. I'm using a shortened version here just for demonstration. In the style instruction section, write this line. 
it helps the model deliver a more expressive and realistic voice. Now, choose a voice from the available options. Make sure to listen to each one before deciding. I'll go with this one for now. Next, open the temperature settings and set it to 0.7. The default is 1.0, but 0.7 gives you a smoother and more emotionally balanced tone. Finally, hit the run button and wait a few seconds. Rolls up his sleeve and stares at the syringe. Once your voiceover is generated, click the three dots and download your audio file. And finally, let's talk about editing. I won't show you this part because it's mostly basic editing, things like trimming clips, adding smooth transitions, syncing the visuals perfectly with the voiceover, and layering a bit of background music or sound effects for immersion. Now, let me show you the result I created using this exact method. He rolls up his sleeve and stares at the syringe. Everyone in the room thinks he's lost his mind. A Russian scientist, Hofkeen, has just been blamed for killing hundreds with a bad cholera vaccine. He fills the syringe with the exact same batch accused of causing the outbreak. Hours later, fever hits. His body shakes, vision blurs. Then, and that's how you can recreate a Zach D film style cinematic short using only AI tools for free. If this tutorial helped you, hit like so more creators like you can find it. And subscribe if you want to keep learning faceless content creation with AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.